Never have I ever clogged up someone else's toilet. I had to. I had to get up out of there. <laughs> so thank my ex, all you mothers that I gifted those gifts to. Friend, I told you bad. <laughs> What's up? How you be? It's Maya B, and I'm back with another video. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel if you already been here. And today I have my sister Jalen. And today, well, actually, y'all seen Jalen on my channel before. It was a couple of years ago, but she's back now. And y'all gonna see more videos of Jalen on my channel. We're just trying to, you know, do some, work out some kinks, you know, because we don't live right beside each other. We live close enough that if we wanted to make a video, I could just drive up there. But it's just better, you know, when you live with somebody or, you know, you live right up the road for them. It's so much better. Anyway, enough with the rambling. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Go ahead and ring that bell. Just ring my bell. Ring that bell so you're notified every time that I post a video. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up and comment down below what videos y'all want to see on my channel whether it be challenges hair videos food videos makeup whatever 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 y'all want to see just let me know without further ado let's get into the video okay so by the title if you don't know what we're doing we're doing never have i ever oh and i left the other phone out there excuse me <laughs> So, as you can see by the title, we'll be playing Never Have I Ever. And we have our handy dandy signs right here that say we have or have not. And I'm going to be asking the questions. And yeah, y'all already know how it goes. So, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. And I'm going to try to go too crazy, you know, because Jalen Mom might be watching this video. Because <laughs> I say what I want. I do what I want on my channel. But, you know. We'll do, we'll, mm -hmm. It's your channel, so do what you want, buddy, big girl. <laughs> Never have I ever cheated on someone. I have not. Never. I ain't been in a relationship to cheat on nobody, so. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I know how I feel to be cheated on, and I just don't want somebody to feel the same way that I feel. So, no, I've never cheated on nobody, and I really just don't have the goods. I'm too faithful. I'm too loyal. I don't have the energy to cheat on somebody because that's a lot of lying you got to do and keep up with the lies. That's so true. Ugh. Ever have I ever used a fake ID? I have not. Oh, I'm about to say now. <laughs> I don't have any. I didn't never had a need to. Like, I really was not drinking for real until I turned 21. Like, I would have wine, but not nothing like too, too severe. You know what I'm saying? And the men was older than me. Like, they was 21 and probably still 20. And they'll buy from me. The men just do it. Dang, so. I don't drink or smoke, so. She's so good. She's saved. No you hear me? I'm straight edge. I know that's right. Like a blade. <laughs> Never have I ever lied to law enforcement. I have. I'll say I have. I don't know. I don't, can't remember. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, many times I've lied to them saying I was not speeding. So, I don't know who they was trying to catch. Because, to be honest, y'all, I really don't speed like that. It be seldom that I be speeding. But that time he caught me, I was speeding. And I lied and said that I was not speeding. Oh, nothing like that. So, maybe I lied during then. But it was so fuzzy and hazy. I don't remember never broken up with someone before and I know that's kind of a hard question for Jalen because she never been in a relationship but I have I had to I had to get up out of there <laughs> like to be honest and I'm so glad I did that was the first time that I ever broke up with somebody all the other times like people would be breaking up with me or they you know just be cheating just doing dumb stuff and it just be over like it's just a mutual understanding like yeah, we're not going to be together no more. Because I already told you from the jump to cheat on me. So, we're done. I had a talking state. I had a ghost them. It was just very toxic. 
So technically, I guess I was breaking up with somebody, but I just ghosted them because I didn't have, have time for that in my life. Mm, okay, that's a good. I just block, Why well, didn't ghost them? I blocked them. I guess that's ghosting. Never. <laughs> but it's so funny. Never have I ever clogged up someone else's toilet. <laughs> Who toilet you clogging up? I don't remember. It's been up my house for us. I clogged up. My grandma's toilet. Wow. I would have toilet at y'all house one time. Dang. I don't. I actually put too much tissue in there. And that's the problem, right, though? Girl. <laughs> but yeah, I never clogged on nobody else's toilet because I don't put myself in situations that I know I might have to go to the bathroom when I'm in somebody else's house. Now we talking about public. I ain't even never called up a public public bathroom. The public bathroom, toilet paper. I don't even think it can no, clog. They so thin. That's what I'm. But no, I've seen, I've seen some toilets clogged up before. Mm -mm -mm. Never have I ever dined in Dash. I have not. I have not because that is just trifling. I'm too scared. I went to IHOP and they had all you can eat pancakes, like National Pancake Day or whatever. And this group of like teenagers or whatever they were at the time, they were sitting across from my mom and I. And then they dined and dashed. And the waiter or the waitress, she was mad and she took it out on us the rest of our meal. I was like, girl, that's not our fault. And they left and didn't pay you. Don't got nothing to do with me. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Never have I ever crashed a wedding. I'm not. I literally only got like a handful of weddings in my life. But I want to. I, I don't. really want that experience in my life. I met a wedding group on Facebook and they put a lot of time and effort into them things. I would be like so mad if somebody crashed my wedding. I would not do that to somebody. I will. I'm gonna eat up somebody's food. Mm -hmm. no, and drinks. Right. And that's dance the night of the way. That's the definition of trifling, y'all. Poetic justice. If y'all ever seen that movie, y'all don't know when it was at the barbecue and they just showed up, acting like they was cousins, that's how I'm gonna be. Never seen it. I, I would, though. I know it'd be fun. Never have I ever trolled someone on social media. I have not. I have not either. I don't have the time. Again, that's trifling. I'm out here trying to do my thing. I don't have time to be scrolling through people's stuff. I don't, I'm not even invested in nobody else's page like that. So, no. I don't have time. Also, you don't know what people's mental health could be. And you could be really hurting somebody just by doing that. That's so true. Because I bought trolls on my account. I don't care. You ain't going to say what you want and I'm going to leave it. I block you. I let the comments stay because that's boosting my analytics. So, thank you. I just ignored it. You just blocked on my head, but anyways. Never have I ever re-gifted a gift. I have. Are you serious right now? Dead serious. So. I just cannot believe you did that. <laughs> oh why? Gosh. Cause I just cannot believe it's probably gonna do that for real. I thought that was only a TV shows and movies. I didn't know people did that in real life. No, so this was a situation, right? My ex had gave me like a whole bunch of stuff for Valentine's Day, like um, body lotions and spray, all this stuff from Back to Body Ways, candles, all this stuff, right? And we had broke up. That's one I broke up with. And I asked him at the beginning, like when I broke up with him, I was like, you know, I know it was just Valentine's Day, so like I'll give you all your stuff back and like, it don't matter to me. I'm like, but you can keep the stuff that I gave you because I don't want it back. Like, what am I going to do with it? He was like, nah, he was cool with it, but he changed his mind. He was saying that he wanted, like, the necklace. Anyway, I need to do a story time on it, to be honest. Anyway, um, but the Bath and Body Works stuff, like, all that stuff, I kept that stuff. And I regifted it for Mother's Day that same year. So, all the Mother's Day in my life, they either had got a candle, some body spray, some lotion. So, thank my ex all you mothers that I gifted those gifts to. 
asked her. I didn't know why I'm acting surprised because she did tell me that. So. <laughs> I did. Because well, they wasn't going to go to waste. And I don't really be wearing a whole lot of lotions and stuff. Like, I don't do scented lotions. Like, I'll do the body spray and, like, put it on my clothes. But I don't put it on my skin because I can't do that. And then the candles, I mean, I have, i rather wax melts just because, you know, I don't know. I just don't really be burning candles like that as much. So, like, let me just give all these candles and stuff away. Then I had to spend no money that Mother's Day except for on cards. That was great. Never have I ever climbed out of a window. Oh, what? I have. You never climbed out of a window? No. What is wrong with you? Girl, I'm exotic. We already talked about this. Car windows, house windows, it don't matter. I've been out the window. I've been out the door. Okay? I never had to climb out the window because my house windows always have the little fencing on it, so I can't climb out the oh, window if I wanted the, to. Um, screen. Yes. Yes, one time I had got locked out the house and I had to um, climb in through on um, the window to get in. And I knew the window was unlocked because I had left it unlocked. You snuck out or something? No, I got locked out the house. Oh. I left my key in there on accident. I'm never snucking out, though. I'm snucking. Whatever. <laughs> never have I ever pranked someone. Ooh, I'm gonna drop my phone. Oh, I'm lying. It surely is. I have. I pranked people so many times, I can't even remember. I didn't even tell them little things like, when, I, when we was younger, I used to tell Maya and Jerry's, I used to be like, oh, so-and-so called you. And then they would go, and nobody called them. That y'all And that's funny. not a prank. That's called lying. That's what that is. <laughs> that y'all's funny. Playing that so much. Funny. Playing all day long. I used to always try to get them. I was just a little jokester. But um, I really want to do some pranks. If y'all want to see some pranks on my channel, let me know. Because I want to do some pranks so bad, but I'm low-key scared just a little bit. But I already know I can't prank our dad. Yeah, I'm trying to do some pranks. But I have pranked. I pranked Monty and Monty, Meg, and BJ just April Fool's so I was pregnant. And I, oh, I can't say that other part where I said. But yeah, I had told him I was pregnant. Yeah, but the baby me. wasn't gonna stay. Next question. Oh my god. That is not even funny. <laughs> it was a prank though. Yeah. That was a prank. Never have I ever gone 24 hours without showering. Oh. I have. Have you? Yes. It be time, y'all, like, when you just be so tired, you just pass out. And next thing you know, it'll be 24 hours later. But I'm talking about road trips, like, flying and doing stuff, like, going places. And be like, then I ain't get a chance to take a shower on me. I'm not a dirty hoe. I ain't stink, but I'm just saying I ain't had no time to take a shower yet. And unfortunately, it has been 24 hours. If you've ever been depressed, you know what it's like to not oh. just have no motivation to even comb your hair. Mm. So, yeah. So sad. <laughs> it's okay. I don't ever think I've really been depressed. Like, but mama them said that I went through a little stage of depression when I first had moved back home. But I ain't never been like that, though. I'm so sorry you went through that. It's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay, but it's, it's okay because it doesn't happen. Never have I ever snooped through someone else's stuff. I have. I'm nosy. I have to see what's going on. I go over to a man's house. I'm looking. Because I need to see if another woman been here. And if you lying to me and saying that you ain't talking to nobody else, I need to know. So I got to snoop through the apartment. I got to look in these drawers. See it. I gotta look. I got bobby pins, hair, eyelashes. Don't let me find nothing. When I was younger, I used to read people's diaries. <laughs> That's worse. That's their personal <laughs> thoughts. I was a kid. I really was bored. I just, I used to like to read books, and I just considered it another book to read. 
wow it would be, it used to be like old diaries it wasn't like i would read somebody's current diary it's like old diaries i want to read current stuff so that one time that i had that little thing remember and it could lock you know i didn't read that oh good but i did used to go through my stuff one time she also just lied see i'm saying she <laughs> didn't lie her whole life she just been lying don't even make no sense Never have I ever wanted to be on reality TV. I have. I wanted my own reality TV show about my life. Right, and that's why I started a YouTube, to be honest. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'll just document my own life since nobody else don't want to document it for me. But no, I say that all the time. Like, our family needs a reality TV show because they are a hot mess. Literally, to be honest. We need a show. And I was like, if I had to make my YouTube into our reality show, I would do that. Because people need to see how funny we are. They need to know, like, we are really it. We are really them. We are really that girl. We talking about the whole family, though. I don't know that girl that used to use that for family. Or him. I know the expression is that girl. Or him. Just look it up. It's, you could say, I'm um, that girl. Guys could say it, too. Like, you're I'm that him. girl. Or they could say, I'm him. Whatever. Anyway, you just want to say you right so bad. Golly. You, you would be him, but I think that girl sounds better. Never have I ever gone viral online. I'm going to hold up both mine. Yeah, me too. Because, well, why? For you. Because that's a few, the first thing I posted. And oh. that thing about my husband. Mm -hmm. I feel like some of those have kind of gone like viral to me. It's like over a thousand views. And those got over a thousand views, so that's that's viral to me. But I know that might not be viral to other people. Mm, but yeah. I don't really have, you know, that many subscribers or followers and stuff on TikTok yet. So that's why over a thousand is viral to me. Mm, that's good. For me, I had this one video get like thirty-seven thousand views or something like that, and I'm gonna like put it on the screen. That's like one of my most viewed videos on TikTok or whatever. As I was editing the video, I noticed or realized that I had another viral video on Facebook. So yeah, I was saying I went viral kinda, but not really. That's viral. I don't know. You know, I guess it is viral. So yes, I have. I want to go viral again. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Or have I ever fallen in love? I have. It sucks. I fell in love with somebody inside the hospital. That's cuckoo for cuckoo for us. <laughs> I never saw them again. Though. I love hard. Like, I love real hard. But I can say that I've only ever been in love one time before in my life. I don't know if I really was in love or the medication. But I was in love to me. But it was like 10 years old to me. Never have I ever pretended to be sick to get out of something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. That's a lie. I put I have not. I, I have. have. I definitely have. I do it all the time. I did it for school because I did not want to be going to school sometimes. I do it all the time. I'm a liar. Okay? You could have called me a liar. Hey. At least I'm on it up. Whatever. I'm a liar. I'm a truther. I be lying for no reason sometimes. I just be lying. So, yes, I have. I I can't use the excuse no more. But I used to like using the excuse my mom said I can't go. But well, she really didn't even say that. Facts. She didn't even know about it. Facts. <laughs> well, I ain't even never asked her. Never have I ever gone to a strip club. I have not. I almost did when I was on my senior trip. I don't have a desire to go to a strip club. When I get married, I do not even have a desire to have strippers at my party because I just don't want to see all that. I want to go to a strip club. I want to go to both male and female strip club. So if y'all trying to go to the strip club, let me know down below in the comments so we can ride out. Let's go to a Jesus club. Amen, that's church. <laughs> Never have I ever met someone famous. Have I? I don't, I don't know. I don't believe I have met anybody famous. Because I would have a picture with them. I don't have no pictures. Um, I'm trying to remember who I met famous. Oh, 
I met Bill Clinton when I first moved to Charleston and I went up there and I shook Bill Clinton's hand. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. At all. <laughs> I, I be forgetting I met him sometimes. I really did meet Bill Clinton. I think that is so cool. That is. I'm trying to meet some famous people though. I'ma get I'ma be I'ma be in the same room with a whole bunch of famous people. Mark my way. Me too. I'm telling y'all. Never have I ever regretted an apology. I have. I have too. Some people don't be deserving no apology. And they be they playing people. They be playing with my top. Thinking I'm really not about that life. Just because I be showing them a softer side or, you know, being apologetic for my own mistakes or something. And they be trying to play me. I don't have time for that because I whoop. Calm down. <laughs> Never have I ever deleted a post on social media because it didn't get enough likes. <laughs> I posted a short on YouTube and got like three views. And not enough likes. But it didn't get enough views for me. Because video before that I posted got over a thousand. I said, uh-uh. This three little views is not doing it for me. I deleted that. Joke. I put it on private and I deleted it. The algorithm don't be hitting every time. But, um, yes, I have. Not in the past five years, though. It was back in the day. But still yet. Enough people ain't seen this. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Because y'all ain't about to embarrass me thinking I'm not it when I know I am. I know some people be using little things to fake like their videos and pictures and stuff on Instagram. Never have I ever liked one of my friends or had a crush on one of my friends. It's somebody I'm friends with now. I just liked them back in high school, but they were so oblivious they didn't catch on. But I think somebody did end up telling them I liked them. But I don't know, but I'm still friends with him now. So I guess, you know, he really ain't had care that much. And then I like, I like a lot of my friends. Cause I don't really get that many guy friends. Oh, okay. No, not like that. Okay. Well, yes, yes. The way I have two situations, two different friends that I like, but one of the situations I know for sure is not gonna happen, but this was the thing. We were friends, and he didn't like me, but I didn't like him at the time. And then, uh, you know, we grew up. We kind of grew apart. And then I, I just built something for him, like, out of nowhere one day. And then I was went to hit him up and saw he was married. Crushed my spirit. Ooh, it had to hurt. That right there, it just... But, yeah. And then my recent uh, situation, I ain't going to get too deep up in that because he might, he might watch this video. And he oh already know that I don't want him to think that I keep going on and on and on and on and on about the situation. But yeah, apparently I'm friends with one of my um, crushes. So yeah. You said friend? I said I told you bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this on my channel or more videos with my sister. Go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Click that bell so you're notified every time that I post a video. Thank you guys so much. Like, y'all don't even understand. Even though it's not like a million of y'all, thousands of y'all, I'm just still so grateful for y'all that I tell y'all time to come out and watch my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope that you come back and see me again. Till next time, guys. Peace. Thank you.